Let's try the sucker again. <laughs> Give me a break. I'm still new at this. This is only my second time. Cock indeed, Texas beast. Cock indeed. Okay. I'm probably only going to be able to fit one uh, one game in now. Son of a bee. Cock indeed, Texas beast. Um... Rearranging, just rearranging some windows here. Can we? Good. Can we get going? Let's do this. I'm bored. I'm bored with this. I'm out of here. Just kidding. Okay. So yeah, like I said, I'll probably uh, only have time for for one game of Conquest here, I think. And then I'm going to a concert tonight. So I gotta go to that after this. But, um, happy inauguration eve day. Not really sure what it is. Can a brother get it? There we go. Jeez. Let's get into her. Let's get into her here. How are we doing? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and we have taken objective Charlie. hop into the old, the old tank Rooney, as they say in Moscow. I mean, I think it's a saying in Texas. Or saying in Tennessee. I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee. Fool me once. You get sniped. Fool me twice. You fool me. I can't get fooled again. Let's 
So did anybody, uh, anybody watch the old, uh, the old Inagerdation? Inagerdation? What is it called? The one where uh, Donald Trump was on today? It wasn't his, it wasn't The Apprentice. It was something else, I forgot. It looked important. guy what? uh oh there's there's other ones they don't even know I'm here oh my gosh. Yes. get out there's got to be one more somewhere there's that an airplane no, that's it. What up? You're welcome. Let's go, Batman. What? I can't just run over a sign. Oh! Oh, okay. Stupid ass teammate. We have taken objective Charlie. Taking objective Charlie. F that. Because I'm taking F, actually. Oh, what up? I'm gonna kill your ass. Oh, almost caught shot teabagging. Caught shot teabagging. Caught. I almost. Who knows? We have lost objective Edward. Oh, man. I'm going to do a slight... Okay. Help over here? Can, can, uh, I don't know if I killed him with me. Oh, okay. Thought maybe I shot that guy. Finally. Where? Where are they coming from? <laughs> Ooh, okay. Why? We have lost objective. Come on, Hunter. team. When I joined this game, we were doing well, and then everybody decided to leave. They got armored cars. We have lost objective dark. And all I have it, and this is our uh, Who are you? Go. Kill everyone around here. I should have to do nothing. Don't you know who I am? Oh my god, now there's a damn heavy tank. We have taken objective apples. This guy saw my shadow. Nope. Okay. Still still nothing.
Give me something. I don't know why you're the only one who's watching right now. It's a great question. This is gold. This is... This is live. This is happening right now. In real life. I bet Donald Trump is eating dinner right now. And at the same time, I'm playing Battlefield. Only in America. Ah, I'll keep walking forward. You. Can... Ah. Alright, F this. It's probably sniping isn't making for an exciting gameplay. Or maybe it is. We have taken objective I don't know. Water. It's only my second street. Let's go to the mall today. Oh shit. Composure, Dustin. <clears throat> hey guys. Hey more of you. Welcome. Welcome to my uh, probably somewhat short-lived stream today, but I felt like doing it. Come on. So, uh... Oh, he's further away than I thought. Son of a bitch. We have taken objective Edward. Let's go! I'm gonna get this guy. I'm determined. I'm sorry. I know it's boring to, uh... Maybe if I switch to 150. Where is he at? Nope, that's a different guy. A flame trooper kit is available near your location. All right. Son of a. Someone else is gonna get him. F forget it. Just forget it. It's frustrating. Oh, there he is. There's my. And tank. It's 12.34 a.m. What are you guys doing watching me? Uh, here it's only like... Is this right? Yeah. It's like 4.30 p.m. Sorry. Don't worry, it only took me 30 seconds to read a digital clock. Oh, I'm driving this. Perfect. We have lost objective Charlie. We have taken objective George. This game is uh too close. Anyone want to repair? What the? What? What? Uh. Did anyone else just see that? <laughs> Pretty sure we were all just in a vehicle. And then it disappeared. <laughs> This is, uh, this is Battlefield 1. So, uh, welcome. If you've never seen it before, this is what it is. 
This is what it looks like. This is what I look like. My name is Dustin. Uh, or Dusty Hats. Or on Twitch now, Hats21, because apparently Dusty Hats is taken, even though it seems to not exist. So, you know, that's, all, that's what I got to work with. Bluegrass Blues. I mean, maybe. I don't know. I, I I've never ever been told that <laughs> that bluegrass would fit my voice, but um, I am definitely a fan of uh, of the genre. I uh, I'm especially a fan of Chris Thiele. Um, and pretty much every project he's been a part of. Because he's just a ridiculous musician. Um, but especially the Punch Brothers, obviously. Um, I listened to uh, Nickel Creek a little bit back in the day, but not so much. Um, give me that guy, come on. Yeah, what up? Um, we are losing objective dark. Oh, cool. I want to, how do I zoom? There we go, that's what I want to do. Sorry, I'm still figuring out this whole how to seed comments thing. Um, what was I saying? I was talking about bluegrass, and then uh, Mickey's more of a Call of Duty player. That's fine. I was uh, I was a complete Call of Duty player, um, and then I just sort of lost interest over the past couple of games. Um, the last I think the last Call of Duty I played was Modern Warfare. Is that the last one? What was the last one before Ghosts? Ah, come on. Um, there we go. Um, because I haven't played Call of Duty in a really long time. And I, I, I like, I remember even when I think it was when Modern Warfare. Is it Modern Warfare? What was the last one I played? Whatever one was 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 before Ghosts or after Ghosts, maybe. I don't remember. Anyways, I was already sick of the futuristic stuff, and so when Infinite Warfare was launched, I was just kind of like, I, I was already done with it at that point, so it was pretty easy to just say like, eh, no thanks. And then I saw that Battlefield was, I mean, I, I had played Battlefield, okay. Um, you only play Black Ops, that's one of the, that's one of the best ones, yeah. I mean, I played the hell out of that. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying Battlefield 1 though. This game's great. I've, I've only ever played Battlefield, like the original Battlefield, um, Battlefield 4, and now this. And, uh, they're just, I don't know. It's a diff it's definitely completely different from Call of Duty. I mean, in terms of just the whole gameplay style, visually, everything, is, I don't know. Okay. Can we, can we, can we do something here, fellas and ladies? Can we, can we take a flag? Get there. Get there. Aha. Hey, there's a guy right behind you. You're welcome. We have taken objective um... Nastia, is, I'm assuming that's how I say your name. Um, that's really cool that you are uh, watching this perhaps just to listen to English and learn English. Um, I, uh, I commend you for trying to learn a different language. I recently, <clears throat> I recently have uh, 
started to slowly learn sign language. Um, because I found myself interacting with a, uh, a deaf person regularly recently, so I figured that's kind of a good one to know. Ah, oh, shoot, I'm gonna die. Reminds me of Far Cry. Really? <laughs> I mean, I've, I've actually never played Far Cry, but... I mean, I know what it is, and I've watched definitely uh, a lot of gameplay. But I guess I could maybe see that. Come on, that was in the head, and you know it. Oh shit, oh shit, where is he, where is he? There's, ah, of course he's right next to me. We are losing objective Edward. Oh, jeez. Look at this guy. Okay. Shit's going down here. No. We have taken objective Duff. Mm, I was just about to take that flag, man. Seems to be some action going on today. Let's go see what that's all about. What do we got? Looks like we got a vehicle here. I don't think this does any damage to it. I know we did have some... Oh, there we go. Um, what the hell was I just talking about? Oh, Far Cry? Is it the last thing I got killed? Sorry. I need to learn how to play and talk. We have taken objective apples. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see what, uh, do I hang out with that Nick guy from God? <laughs> yes, all the time. We are good friends. Um, in fact, I'm hanging out with him and his wife tomorrow. Um, we're all going, uh, snow tubing, I think. Which, if you haven't been, you know, just a more intense version of sledding, I suppose. Yeah. Sam Duncan. Yes. Uh, that is a wonderful song. Um, I learned that song probably three or four years ago. And I never played it live. Um, but it was similar to the uh, Bon Iver cover. Because um, I loved his cover of it. And, uh, that was in the head. Um, but yeah, his, his cover of it kicks ass. Yes. So I kind of, I kind of learned his cover like years ago, but I've completely forgotten it. So I don't know. Maybe I'll relearn that sometime. That's, that's a great song. Though. <laughs> um No, Gavin is not uh Gavin is not Nick's son despite what uh, many people think or have said. He is his nephew. So, so kind of close. We have lost objective Duff. Um We have taken objective Yeah, snowboarding um Snowboarding is far more fun than uh, than snow tubing or sledding. I love snowboarding uh, or skiing. Like uh, not real ski. So like I so, so I've sn I've I learned how to snowboard first, and then I ended up getting a pair of uh, 
depending on what you call them, ski boards or snow blades, even some people call them. But they're basically, you know, those really short uh, twin tipped skis. They basically look like two mini snowboards. And um, that is a lot of fun to do if you never have. I would highly recommend it. Um, I've never understood though, like, it's it's similar to to rollerblading and skateboarding. Like for some reason, snowboarders just oh come on, just like give. Oh, um, what was I saying? I don't remember. Skiboarding's fun. Try it. I was gonna say some snowboarders sometimes make fun of skiboarders because they're like, "Whoa, what are you trying to beat with the snowboarders?" Like. No, it's just fun to do. Cool your jets, man. I don't care. Ukrainian. See now, is Ukrainian... Is that, uh... Forgive me for acting like... Or sounding like a complete dumbass. But is that... Sort of like Russian. I uh, I am not knowledgeable at all, at all when it comes to different languages and their origins, but um, that's the first thing I think of when I think of Ukraine. For some reason, is Russia pops into my head. Yeah, I, I my hope is to my hope is to stream very regularly, you know, try and do it even daily, because um, I love video games, and uh, I even kind of thought about doing a like joint like while I play video games, I play music sometimes, because I mean, right in front of me right now is my desk and I've got my keyboard on it and everything, but then I, I don't know, maybe I should just keep them separate. Sometimes do gaming streams, sometimes just do singing. Uh, like little mini stream concerts, so I don't know. We'll see what that turns into. But uh, I like the I like the whole concept of live streaming. Um, I think it's a lot of fun for everyone, um, and it's cool to be able to just kind of do like impromptu, like just play for people, whoever wants to watch, um, whenever I want. So yeah, who knows? It, I'll definitely be doing more doing more of. Uh, both. Now that I have an actual uh, setup. That was kind of the uh, downside before. I didn't really have a good setup in terms of equipment and desk and all that stuff. So It's nice that I have that now. But thank you for thinking that my channel should be bigger. That would be... Uh, that would, that's, that's the goal is to grow my... Grow my, my internet presence back to what it was... <laughs> When, uh, when Vine was still a thing, but now that that's gone, I kind of lost a, a lot of my audience, unfortunately. As much as you try to, like, migrate people over, it doesn't really happen very much. We have lost objective Even comparing this to Call of Duty... I don't know that you can directly compare it to Call of Duty because uh, they're just both, they're both almost completely separate like styles of gameplay. Um, and I've played days worth of both and um, probably more Call of Duty even. I don't know, I mean, out of the current state of, of both things, um, Battlefield, to me, is the uh, clear superior game right now. Um, just because of the fact that... I don't know, it's just fun. I mean, like... Like, there's there's something about, like, A, it's beautiful looking, as like, compared to Call of Duty. The sound mixing, which I think is sometimes a very... Uh, forgotten about aspect of video games Battlefield the whole franchise has always had the best sound like if you play this with headphones on especially or 
um, or just with good speakers or surround sound on your TV, whatever, the sound of every battlefield has just been insanely good. Um, oh, you stopped right before. Um, so that's a huge thing for me. It makes it awesome. And, uh, and I don't know. Call of Duty is really fun, though. Like, I, I mean, I've played more Call of Duty in my life than I have Battlefield. And, like, I, I just like how fast-paced that is. It's kind of more arcade-style first-person shooter, if that makes sense. Um, because it is just kind of fun to, to throw it on and, and do more like a run-and-gun thing and just, you know, I, like... Yeah, Call of Duty feels more arcade to me. Battlefield has always felt, you know, not not as far as like saying it's a simulation, but it has felt definitely more realistic and like you have to take your time more. Um, and that's partly why I enjoy sniping so much in Battlefield because like you do kind of have to develop a skill, worry about bullet drop, distance, um, zeroing in your scope, like all of that stuff is like, at first, when you think about it, it's like, oh, why, why? that seems annoying. If I just point at a guy and shoot, he should just die. But anyways, I'm going way too in-depth in, into the uh, explanation. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I think they're both probably fine. Right now, I think Infinite Warfare, um, you know, I haven't, I haven't actually played Infinite Warfare, but I've watched a lot of gameplay, and, like, it just, none of it has ever... And I've watched people play it in person too, and I, I like nothing to me seems um, good enough. Like nothing makes me go like, oh, I'm gonna, I want to buy that right now and play that. But I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm not saying it's bad. I, I just have never played it. But um, yeah, and the and the like futuristic thing. I'm just done with like to me. My favorite Call of Duty to date is World at War. Like I loved that game. I played the hell out of that game. Um, especially the multiplayer. There was something so cool about like, even just like the limbs flying off and stuff, like that just makes it more fun and like setting up bouncing beddies and like, like that game was awesome. So I, I was hoping they would go back to that style of game, which they kind of decided to go the complete opposite direction. And then of course, Battlefield decided to go even closer to that, uh, that sort of, you know, boots to the ground as they say or boots on the ground whatever the hell so yeah they're both cool i don't know I'm, I'm hoping call of duty does go back to this style um but of course even if they do they'll get shit from everyone saying oh now you're just copying battlefield because your last game you know was received so poorly but i mean that isn't something that has any effect on how the game actually plays so oh, whatever sorry that was a uh, long I have never played Uncharted 4. I haven't played any of the Uncharted's actually. They look really cool though. Isn't that is that the PlayStation exclusive though? Is Uncharted or am I thinking of The Last of Us or something? I can't remember. PlayStation has some awesome exclusive titles. I've 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 my favorite game franchise of all time is is God of War and um and uh that's a PlayStation exclusive. I've I've considered buying a PlayStation 4 just for that game because it's it's i mean those games are just insanely good lord biscuits yeah i can see that i mean i mean i i do understand the competitive part of call of duty believe me i have played so much Call of Duty. Um, it's sad, almost. Um, but that to me is that's it. yeah. You're right. This, like I said, this game Battlefield is more of a yeah that casual like take your time like huge maps. You can you know hang out in one area. I mean, there's not there's not really like a rush to it. Um, Yeah, okay. I think I think that for me, if if Call of Duty if Infinite Warfare wasn't Infinite Warfare and it was it was something back to like World War Two or something like that, I think I I probably would have gone with that before I I bought Battlefield. Cause 
I wasn't even interested. I didn't even play Battlefield 4. Um, so here's, so like, I played the original Battlefield, and then I played Call of Duty for years and years and years. And then when Battlefield 1 was announced, I was like, holy crap, that looks really cool. I should probably get back in, like, you know, playing Battlefield. And so that's when I re kind of rediscovered Battlefield 4, even though it had been out for, you know, a year or two or whatever at that point when Battlefield 1 was announced. So I started playing a ton of Battlefield 4 and threw kind of Call of Duty to the side. But I'm, I'm hoping to pick it back up. I really am because... Um, ooh, that was a blind shot. Because um, I, I do enjoy the, the pacing of Call of Duty. The competitiveness of Call of Duty is, yeah, a whole different beast um, as compared to this. So I don't know. We'll see. They just, I just really wasn't, the futuristic aspect to me just wasn't appealing. And it is to some people, and that's cool. But I just, to me, I was like, I just kind of want to get back to using bolt action rifles and, and tanks and stuff like that. So here I am. Yeah, yeah. See, and I would, I still like. I've I've contemplated buying Infinite Warfare, just for um, Modern Warfare. But again, I'm just like, I don't want to. I mean, I guess maybe now I haven't even looked to see if you can find a cheap copy on eBay or something. I'm sure I could, but I've I've watched gameplays of of the remastered Modern Warfare, and it looks it just looks so fun. Like that was the game that kind of. I mean, like, yeah, like everyone, that was the game that really, I don't want to say gave Call of Duty its following, because it definitely had one before that, but I don't know. That's the first one that I remember playing that I was like, all right, I'm going to put many, many hours into this game. Um, We are getting dominated right now. This is worthless. What are you doing? What are you doing, guy? Who is this guy? Dr. Dank. Excuse me. Do something. How about you, bone cement? Unbelievable. Is Modern Warfare Remastered? Is no. I I was just I just was talking about. Uh... I was just talking about the Dragonov sniper rifle with someone. Oh, but... <clears throat> Popular singer. <laughs> um, Nastia. Yeah, I, I, I definitely would would like to post more on YouTube, and I probably I'm I'm planning on it. Um, if you don't know, I. It, like I, uh, my job is already to to sing. Like I, I tour. Um, the last few years, I have regularly been touring. Um, kind of the the college campus circuit uh, in America, all around the country. And so, um, music is is all I do. Um, in terms of a job. It's my main, uh, my main baby. Um, but yes, I would like to, uh, to just post more on YouTube and kind of grow that community, I guess. Um, I feel pretty good about where I'm at right now, though. But there's always, there's always room for growth. But, uh, but yeah, a lot of that is hard. Like it, it's hard because a huge, so like on Vine, um, you know, I think I ended up before it ended. I had, uh, I had, I think right around 300,000 followers or subscribers on there, whatever you want to call them. And, uh, oh my God. And it was, it, it's interesting because a lot of those people you know, followed me or whatever from my more comedic videos. 
Um, so, yeah, like the suck a dick song, or, um, or yeah, the overdoing it kind of singing where I would take perfectly good melodies and ruin them by just doing a bunch of vocal runs, which, which I think is funny, and like, I mean, there are definitely songs that, I just think it's, I think it's funny when people do like crazy vocal runs on songs that just don't really need it. Like the melody's already great and like, but they like, oh, it's so anyways, yeah. But like I, a lot of my fan base, I think from Vine followed me from, from more ridiculousness than, uh, than actual like music. I don't even think most people know that that's what I actually do is uh, write and play and record music for a living. Um, which is fine, but it's it's always been hard to introduce those people to my music. Like, it's it's like it's great that like I make people like people have laughed at what I've made or whatever, and and they've enjoyed my antics. But whenever I go to it's it's hard. Like whenever I go to say like, hey, I actually sing though for real. I like and write music, and I've got an album out, and now a new single, and like. You know, that's what I really do. Um, not a lot of people seem to care very much. <laughs> um, which is fine. I mean, if people aren't interested, that's all right. But it's just, it's weird how that works. How you can have, you know, close to 300,000 people follow you. And then the moment you go like, hey, here's a sample of like some real shit that I do. And then most people are like, uh, I don't know. Where are the jokes? But uh, to answer your question, uh, coming out with new music anytime soon. Well, I uh, the newest thing that I have out is, is a single right now called Original Things. If you haven't checked it out, uh, please, uh, please do. Um, there's like a lyric video I made on my YouTube channel, which you can check out. Uh, or the song is on iTunes and Spotify and all that good stuff. Um, but, yeah, I, um, I'm hoping to, I mean, I'm always hoping to release new music. The, the, the question has, is kind of like, how do, like, do I go for making a full length album again? Cause I feel like nobody really listens to full albums anymore, which is sad. I mean, I love the concept of albums still. Oh my God. Rogue Flair. <laughs> oh my God. Things are not going well. Um, but, uh, or, or do I just, like, release a single every once in a while? I, don't, I mean, it's it's tough. Like, to me, like, people don't even pay for music anymore, really. I mean, they just stream it for free or whatever. So, which sucks because as an artist trying to make a living, you know, off of a Spotify streaming payment um, versus, like, a 99-cent iTunes download, those are very different ways that I get uh, supported. <laughs> I would much rather have people download a song for 99 cents than, than stream it. Um, but not everybody wants to, which is, you know, to each their own. Um, oh, here, here we go. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to release even newer music. Uh, I've, I've been going to... Uh, I've, a few times now gone out to New York um, to work with a friend of mine who I met on The Voice and uh, a, uh, a friend of his who's a just ridiculously good producer and um, that's where I recorded original things and then we recorded one more song that we have yet to kind of finalize and release um, but I'm hoping that it will happen soon I hit you first dad Um, yes, Lord Biscuits. I was on The Voice very briefly, um, on season four, um, just on the, uh, the, the blind audition episodes. Um, just, a just enough for a little, a little TV recognition. But, um, I don't know, reality TV is, uh, 
is, is a weird, weird thing. The word reality is, um... Interesting, to say the least. Nastia, have you have you seen uh, have you seen like my videos that I have on my YouTube channel? Because it's pretty much all singing videos. I mean, I haven't I haven't uploaded one probably in oh gosh, it's been it's been way too long. But like the, I mean, there are if you search me on YouTube, you'll probably get well, you'll probably Halfway get there, suck a dick stuff, and then the and then me actually singing, but. We're gonna lose this. We don't have any momentum in this game right now. Where is... Oh shoot. Textual message. Oh, you have seen all my videos. Okay. <laughs> well, good then. I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded in a while. I'm, I I will. I don't really know what to do next, though. That's my heart. My the thing that keeps me from making more videos is always me going like, well, what do I do? Do I just set a camera up and play a song, or do I try and remake a whole instrument like? Like Pusher Love Girl, that was that was probably the most work I've done on a YouTube video, because um, I kind of That's tried to like transport. recreate that song from scratch, um, like remake the whole instrumental, and so um, oh, I don't know how I won that battle. Um, so I don't know. That's that. I always I'm I'm my like, I just, yeah, I don't know. I just need to figure out what to do. God, can we? Hold on. This game is not going well. Oh, thanks, Sam. Yeah, that uh, that song "River" is uh, it's pretty good, pretty good tune, and I like Leon Bridges. Guy's voice is awesome. I have eyes on a shock trooper. Yes. Affirmative. Go go go. <laughs> yeah, it is nice. I. I don't know. I mean, obviously, I'd love you know millions of, of fans and uh, an audience. But yeah, I, I I like it's kind of similar to um, to playing like live shows and playing you know a, a club versus playing a coffee shop or something. It's just a whole different vibe. Right now, we're in the coffee shop phase, and I like it. Is that a helmet? Just sliding. <laughs> okay, just just guitar, piano, kind of thing. Yeah, I'll try and mix it up. I just I don't know. I every time I get close to going like. I should just set up a camera plan, and just Sergeant? play this song right now and film it and then post it. I always like, I always end up going like, no, that won't be good enough. You have to do different camera angles and the audio has to be great 
and you got to do it. And I'm, I think I'm just, I'm my, I'm the only one holding me back because I'm thinking way too much about it. But then at the same time, I'm like, aren't you supposed to think, I mean, aren't you supposed to put a lot of work into your, into your videos? But ultimately, I think people just want to hear me sing, so why not just do it? I don't know. I should probably just post stuff and not care. That's kind of the, uh, that's kind of all I did when I first started making videos in the first place. And it seems to work, so. Who knows? Who knows, guys? If you like only a boy, that's good. Thank you. That song, uh, that song was a very hard song for me to write. Um, but, uh, I have yet to actually record that or play that live at all. So. Oh, did I just get that tank with that? Oh. That was lucky. Sweet. Give me a hand, will you? Um. And, uh. Thanks, Ethan. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, shit. Mm. Oh, yeah. okay. <coughs> Forty thousand on Periscope. That's sweet. I uh, I've only done a couple of Periscopes. It's just there's there's so many options for like live stuff now. It's crazy. I still find myself, you know, coming back to YouTube and obviously Twitch for, you know, strictly gaming stuff. But um, I uh, I like the idea of um, Twitch and uh. Like, I, I like the idea of people being able to donate to you, quote-unquote donate, um, while you live stream. So, like, on Twitch, I think I have that set up or something. Um, and on younow.com, which is also a live streaming thing. Because um, it does kind of then become a, like, yeah, like a mini concert type thing. Like, as if I were playing out somewhere and people could actually, you know buy a CD or something like that. Um, so I like that concept. Um, you know, if people want to support you, they can support you directly that way versus, you know, having to go find your music and buy it or, you know, some, I don't know. I, so I, I'll prob I'll, I like, I like doing Twitch and I like doing you now, especially for that. Um, but I think right now my biggest audience is probably YouTube or, um, or Instagram, but that's not really, uh, it's not really set up all that well to do like music live sure, stuff or sergeant. gaming stuff, obviously, so. so yeah. Oh, thanks, Autumn. I'm glad you like. Uh, I'm glad you like fall. We have taken objective that's uh, that's nice. I I often get people saying that they uh, they listen while they, while they study. So I'm glad it's I'm glad it's good studying music. That's always the best kind, anyways, isn't it? Um. Oh, that hit him! Come on. This is. I think this sniper rifle is defective. Okay, now I'm getting gassed. Someone needs some tums. Okay. Um. Uh, 
Mickey, I don't... I, well, for Twitch, you just... I, I There's like a website. It's called Streamlabs now, I think. No. What is it? Stream... Yeah, is it Streamlabs? Dot com? And you can you can set up your like a PayPal thing through there. Um, you now I think you have to go through you now and like become partners technically with them. It's an enemy medic. Um, but uh, I'm not exactly sure that guy is a little wiener. Oh, come on. I'm sorry for this poor gameplay, by the way. I'm, I'm not playing well right now. Plane spotted. Oh. Yeah, just a little bit off. Can't do it today. I'm sorry. Carl. We have taken objective Freddy. Unbelievable. God, we're I didn't even realize that we're sort of in this game. I thought this was out of our hands, but Turns out if we fight, we just may win. Give it all you've got, men. Uh-oh. Come on. This freaking butts in your face. This is the worst. We have lost objective Charlie. <laughs> thanks, uh, thanks, Lord Biscuit. <laughs> it's interesting, like, it's... I, I hope this doesn't... This is not coming at all from a... Uh, from a... Uh, conceited or self... I, I don't know, type of place. But I hear that... Very often, that comment of, like... Like, it's for years. I mean, like, after... After I've played shows, after, you know, in, in my hometown or wherever, like, so often people are like, why aren't you famous? Or why aren't you more famous? Or why aren't you, you know, all this stuff. And my, my response is always like, I don't know. Like, it's kind of out of my hands. <laughs> like, I can only make stuff and sing so often, but it's kind of up to, like, I mean, it's up to... to you know, it's up to people to make someone famous, really, or make someone, you know, ridiculously successful. Well, it's not up to other... It's obviously up to me to make my own success, but, um, you know what I mean. Like, it's just a weird... It's a weird comment to get, because it makes, it makes you kind of think, like, I don't know why. I'd, you know, it'd be great to, to be... I mean, it'd be great to be famous. I, I honestly couldn't care less about fame. Um... It's obviously great to be recognized for for things that like you've done and made. That's that's awesome. Um, but I so much rather like my end goal, which is you know I, where I'm at right now, is comfortable. But like my end goal is just to to make a, a good living off of what I love to do, and what I love to do is make music and uh, and just I don't know entertain people and talk to people and so I mean if I can. If I can make a, a good life out of that, that is, that's my goal. My goal is definitely not to, uh, to be the next, you know, 
Taylor Swift and own the world. Obviously, it would be great if that comes along, you know, on touring stadiums and stuff. If that happens, perfect. But that's not necessarily on my radar. Whoa, that was a lucky shot. How do I say my last name? You say my last name like this. Hatzenbuehler. It's just like Hats and, and then Bueller, like Ferris Bueller. Um, I think the actual like German pronunciation. Wow, we won? Get out of town. Um, I think the actual like, yeah, German pronunciation is like Hudson Buller or something. I don't know. I, I, I worked at, uh, at the Apple store in the Mall of America years ago. And, um, there was always a lot of, a lot of foreigners that came through the mall, obviously, because it's a big tourist attraction. And uh, that's actually where I first met Nick, too, because we worked together there. Um, oh, God. But, uh, yeah, people, there was this guy from, there was this German guy, like, actually German guy, who came in and uh, saw my last name or something, and he said it. And I was like, uh, you just said my own last name better than I ever will. And, um, wait, how did I do that? Uh, I didn't even see what my, how are we doing here? Oh, I don't know. Maybe this is like what I should do every time I play this game. I feel really distracted and like I'm not playing very well, but, uh, apparently I am. I do not know. Um, I think that I'm going to have to, uh, stop playing there. Um, because I gotta start getting ready to go here. Um, <clears throat> but yes, yes, that uh, there's there's an answer to things. Um, thank you, Nastia, for tuning in. Good night. Have uh, hopefully you're not too tired in the morning. I appreciate uh, appreciate you sticking around though. Sorry, uh, sorry if I just keep labbing on about nonsense. But good night. <laughs> um, see you later, Mickey Kicks. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry, your phone keeps crashing. Um, all right. Well, that, uh, that's all she wrote. Hello, uh, hello, Angela. Welcome. Sing. <laughs> Why is that only coming out one side? Too? Weird. Um... Oh, I'm in a game. Oh, whatever. I'll just let it. I gotta end anyways. Um, all right, I gotta go. I'm I'm so sorry, um, especially if you're just joining. But uh, but I I must depart for the evening. Um, I should uh, I sh I'll try and be on sometime tomorrow. Um, I don't know if it will be during the day or in the evening. But uh, please uh, subscribe and. Uh, you know, follow me, whatever you have to do to, uh, to tune in next time. But, um, tomorrow I'm going, uh, snow tubing with Nick, uh, Nick Mastodon and his wife. And, uh, and I'm not really sure when we're doing that, but I will be, uh, I will be on tomorrow again, perhaps playing Battlefield or Rocket League or, uh, something else. I'm not really sure yet. So, um, that's that. Thank you guys for watching. And, uh, we'll see you, we'll see you next time. Uh, also, uh, I should point out, for you, Angela, if, uh, if you do want to see me, uh, sing, or watch me sing, I do that, uh, on a, uh, streaming site called younow.com, if you want to do that. Uh, go follow me there. 
uh, younow.com slash dusty hats, I believe. And, uh, and then you'll get a notification whenever I go live there. But that's, that's, uh, that'll be strictly singing, um, and just kind of random live streams, nothing to do with video games. But, um, otherwise, Twitch and YouTube for gaming and whatnot, and, uh, and that's that. Okay. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll see you next time. Good night, good day, good morning, good evening, wherever you are. And, um, peace, love, and weird stuff. <laughs>